as the triathlon of the art world. There is nothing that can prepare you for what kind of machines are going to show up year after year. The Lowell Kinetic Sculpture Race is a blend of art, science, technology, math, creativity, and good old-fashioned elbow grease. They are faster, they are stronger, they are better made. I think for the first time, really ever, we're going to see a real race. These colorful and funky all-terrain sculptures are powered by humans. We're all uh, propelling this thing uh, pretty much equally. Um, Ida doesn't have any kind of steering mechanism. Uh, Kristen and I will be doing the steering from back here. We all have a brake, but we're uh, pretty convinced that mine's the only one that works, so I'm going to be on that quite a bit. Bianca Moro and Michael Roundy have produced and directed the Lowell Kinetic Sculpture Race since 2015. We're spreading glory all over the place. That's the number one thing. But we also want um, people to kind of experience the idea of STEAM, uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and math um, in a fun atmosphere where people are having a good time and yet also understanding that all these things can kind of integrate and that it's really important to do that. and their crews gather in downtown Lowell before the race. The pre-race celebration was quite the spectacle. What's the challenge of walking in stilts? Um, balance. Balance is the main thing, not falling over. Check out this colorful crew. Meet the one and only Fruit Roll-Ups. These crazy characters are from Nashua. Are you guys gonna win? Yeah! with the roll-ups one week before the race at their headquarters at the Make It Labs in Nashua. They competed last year on a tandem bike with these banana floats. This year's contraption is a lot bigger. Because this is not light. This is a lot of steel. Um, wheels are out of steel. Used our plasma cutter. Uh, so designed a nice squiggle artistic design. Uh, golf cart hubs. So the parts came off a golf cart we got used. Uh, he was able to find for about $100. Nashua Gate City Bike Co-op donated uh, bike and bike parts. Well, this year we think we can do it. We got these big wheels. They should give us more traction in the mud. Uh, they should be able to get us out of the water. We have very low gearing. So we're hoping to ace it this year. The first leg of the race brings the teams down Bone Shaker Alley, appropriately named for the cobblestones. <laughs> cobblestones look easy, but the next challenge is where the rubber meets the mud. This 50 foot long pit is eight inches deep. Nashua's fruit roll-ups, let's just say this is where that elbow grease comes in. The roll-ups get pulled out and the parade of moving artwork makes its way to the Merrimack River. For the pirates, it was smooth sailing. Others needed a backup. Cinnamon Girl took her time and pedaled to shore and the roll-ups, let's just say they persevered. From the river, the teams and their kinetic sculptures, a bit bruised and battered, headed towards the finish line. Who's in first? Oh, it's a tight race. Oh, it's the pirate ship coming through. Here comes Cinnamon Rolls. That was great. I could not have pushed any harder. I'm really, really pleased. For a sculpture that we built in a matter of weeks, I, I'm really blessed by how talented and generous my friends are from the ground up. This was absolutely a group effort. We have enough awards this year that I think some people might actually get too. So we have uh, a next to last award, we have the biggest splash award. 
Michael Roundy lives in Concord and is bringing the race to the capital city in the spring. It's going to be about a nine-mile race. We're going to be going into the Merrimack River up there also, so it's the same river, which is kind of interesting. And we haven't figured out the mud pit. There might be a secret location for that. But we are going to be starting right in front of the state house. Who knows? Maybe Chronicle can get in on the action. Crank this baby up. I'm ready. Okay, Dave, I think the ride bubbles and wear silly costumes, but every dollar that we raise today through merchandising goes to the STEM Academy at the Rogers School to their after-school STEM program. A marriage of art, science, and fun. Yeah.